dung, doo-doo, droppings, crap, scat, whatever you want to call it, poop is pretty useful. Hey everyone, Julia here for DNews. While we tend to think of excrement as extremely gross and we want it as far away from us as possible, nature has a different way of dealing with doo-doo. In a closed ecosystem, nothing goes to waste not even waste. For some animals, it's normal and healthy to eat their own poop, which is called coprophagy. Mice and capybaras eat their own waste to get some nutrients that pass through their body once that their body might have missed the first time. And farmers know the importance of waste in raising their crops, but feces aren't just for fertilizing. According to some research, millions of tons of dung enters Africa's aquatic ecosystems every year. Some researchers think high concentrations of excrement leads to fish die-offs, but new research suggests it might be good for the fish. A recent study published in the journal Ecosphere found that hippo poop feeds river fish. Researchers from the UC Santa Barbara used chemical markers to follow the trail from beneath the hippo's tail to the tissue of fish in the river. The research showed that the fish were getting important nutrients from the poo. This was especially true when water levels were low, then the hippo poo was more concentrated and the fish could make better use of the nutrients. The research confirms that hippos can have a huge impact on the ecosystem. Some scat helps to spread seeds. Lots of birds eat seeds, then drop them off in some distant wood. This helps spread the species further than it normally would. One study published in the journal Ecology Letters found that passing through the gut of a skybird changes the seeds for the better. A small tropical bird, Elanius, feeds on the seeds of a wild chili pepper plant. After going through the bowels of the bird, the seeds' chances of survival increase 370%. The researchers found that being eaten and then passed made the seed less aromatic and appealing to seed-eating ants, and it removed some of the harmful pathogens that could kill the seed. Fish feces even builds beaches. You know how beautiful those pristine white beaches in Hawaii are? Yeah, that's fish poop. Seriously, parrotfish, so named because they have a sharp beak-like teeth, gnaw off algae that grows on corals. Along with the algae, the fish gets a mouthful of the coral's calcium carbonate, which it expels as waste. Some estimates say that a single parrotfish can poop out 800 pounds of sand a year. That'll be fun to think about on your next vacation. And don't think humans are immune to this. I mean, we love our fertilizer, and um, cat poop coffee exists. In the Sumatran jungle lives a small cat-like critter called the civet. This cat loves coffee berries, but its gut doesn't digest the bean. And as the cat passes the bean, its anal glands release a musky scent onto the bean. And this makes for apparently good, well, at least expensive coffee. It can cost as much as 600 bucks a pound. I think I'll just stick to my Earl Grey for now. Speaking of all the good things poop can do, human fecal transplants save lives. Get the scoop on this miracle cure from our sister show, Seeker. Check out that video here. Many people with Ryan's condition have turned to a unique procedure known as a fecal transplant, which involves taking poop from a healthy donor and inserting it into a patient's colon to recolonize good bacteria into their system. What do you think about all the great things doo-doo can do? Would you drink a cup of crappy coffee in the morning? Let us know down in the comments below. While you're at it, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and keep coming back here. We've got new episodes every day of the week.